Why do I keep allowing myself to become distracted? I have to remember that I'm looking for a boat to Madagascar. Even though the civil war in Mozambique ended over a decade ago, everyone says the yachting fleet hasn't returned. But surely I'll find one somewhere on its long coast. You want me to talk? <laughs> no, I want you to look straight ahead. Travel tip. The smart thing to do is to time your rides such that you arrive at an unknown destination early in the day so that you have plenty of light to get your bearings and find some place to stay. I arrived in Maputo too late to find a room, but fortunately Jose, one of the minivan passengers, offered to take me to his family's house. It's outside the city, either in a neighborhood called Inyagoya A or Inyagoya B, I'm not sure which. I was a little apprehensive walking with him through the warren of dark paths, but when we arrived, the family began dancing and shouting and hugging me without his even explaining who I was. It's hard to imagine these friendly people engaged in a long civil war. Mozambicans are extremely happy. No, no. Because I expected to quickly pop over to Madagascar, I'm a little unprepared for Mozambique. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My father is definitely in this country. Huh? Yeah. Ah. I don't know the history and I don't know Portuguese, so some of my questions lack sophistication. Yeah, um, was it bad? Very bad? Yeah. Very bad. Very bad. Get it? And the answers seem like answers to other questions. Yeah, that's the same. Yeah. Yeah. 17. Yeah. You yeah. No, it's a long time. Yeah, it's a long time. It's a long time. <laughs> yeah, okay, long it's a long time. 17. <laughs> you want to watch it? Please. Yeah. It's fun. <laughs> Everything's fine, don't worry. I think they're pretty on top of malaria here, so I won't even have to use my bug hut. And they've given me my own room, although I hope I'm not putting someone out. Love, Matt. You like Phil Collins, huh? Hmm? You like Phil Collins, huh? Phil Collins. Phil Collins. Yeah. What? No. I, we had it all night. Hmm? What do you speak? Do you have any Genesis? Hmm? Genesis? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> do you think that you should use this? This is a mosquito net, yes? Mosquito nets. Mosquito? Yes. No. Z yes, this. Ah, it's fine, it is. <laughs> it's fine. But last night, I have bites on me. Okay, where are you? Yes. Here. 
How the mosquitoes. But you know mosquitoes. Yes, mosquito. Are you? Yes. Okay. But not, it's not. You didn't hear? Sometimes it's not mosquito. Yeah, it's too much animal, small one. Sometimes it's not mosquito. <laughs> I don't know if that makes me feel any better. the Yacht Harbor today and it was truly everything I'd heard it was. There was no one even to show my Portuguese letter of introduction. It looks as if I might have more luck in Berra, so I'll head up there in the next day or so. In the meantime, I stop by the Museum of the Revolution to try and learn something about the country's history. Portugal showed up in 1498 and stayed for almost 500 years, basically behaving like dicks. Finally, a revolution in Portugal prompted it to grant independence to its former colonies. But when the Mozambicans subsequently decided they wanted a socialist government, the white governments in Rhodesia and South Africa freaked out. They did not want a neighbor sympathetic to their black majorities. So they engineered an opposition and mired the country in civil war for 17 years. On my way back to Inyagoya, I passed the harbor again and saw a competing video shoot up on the seawall. comfortable introducing myself, but something made me want to find some means of getting their attention. Movimento? No movimento? Mosquito net. Mm. Mosquito. Mosquito. 
mosquito. Mosquito. I knew it. They must know something about mosquitoes that I'm not getting. And it's true. Sometimes I miss explanations because they speak Portuguese and I speak a little high school Spanish. Por ejemplo, tonight Jose said, we drinky all night. So when we went to the beer shack and bought only four beers, I was confused. I said, I thought we were going to drinky all night. No answer. But after we'd finished them, he and Pedro went back to the beer shack for more. And I realized, this is how you get cold beer when you don't have a refrigerator. So what else am I missing? If I spoke Portuguese, would I better understand the series of events that happened later when we walked down the road to the bar? In the course of about an hour, a woman with chicken grease all over her hands kissed the air at me. Another woman gave me a scrap of paper that I assumed would have her number on it, but actually just had her name. And still another woman had a hard-boiled egg delivered to me at our table. I felt like a Gulliver who had traveled to a strange land where women actually paid attention to him. I thought, this must be what it's like to be handsome or a celebrity. You don't have to work for anything. And even as it was happening, I could see that ultimately it would feel hollow and unearned. But for the time being, I just wanted to savor the hard-boiled egg that had been delivered to me. And I did. And then we went home. I'm still reeling from the events of last night. Surely when one travels somewhere, he knows he will stand out. There's at least an element of egotism and attention-seeking. Is travel a kind of celebrity for geeks? I don't understand that I'm yes. but there's nothing, it's just this. Come on. I learned at the museum that cement houses like Jose's were illegal under the Portuguese. <laughs> Mozambicans were only allowed to build reed houses because they were easier to demolish.
extraordinary thing happened on the way home from the beach today. There are always interesting things happening on the paths to Inigoya, and I always videotape them. But naturally I didn't get this, because you never get the things that completely grab your attention. We passed a friend of Jose and Pedro's. A woman they called Licencia. And she stopped and shook hands, and then she kissed my hand. Kissed it. I don't know why. And although I'd been enjoying hanging out with my friends and thinking how I would leave the next day for Bera, because that's what I'm really trying to do after all, is find a boat to Madagascar. Now all I could think about was the hand kiss. What was that all about? Then Licencia said that she would come later to Jose's house after she had washed. Washed? And the prospect of that has really thrown my whole day off of its foundation. I'm not sure what to do now. Should I... Should I wash or something? Do you think Licencia will come tonight? Huh? Licencia will come tonight? Licencia? Noite. He'll come to me. I told I to me. Me and me and me. And then he will come to me. Not. Uh, you are not believing. <laughs> Believe me now, you'll come. Because when we talked to her, I thought she said she will wash and then come over. And so I came home, okay. and I washed. Okay. But then I was just sitting with you. Two people. What's that? You want to come home. <laughs> it's together. Yes. Yeah, I know, I understand. <laughs> well, I didn't understand, because I, I, I washed for nothing. Yeah, yeah, I know. I didn't understand mm. what she said or what you said, because... Yo solamente. Yo solamente. Solamente darte. Yeah, solamente darte. 
Disappointment. Okay. Yesterday, it is said you were disappointed for you. See. Si. But today, not disappointed. Si. <laughs> today, I was supposed to go to bed. Today? Ah, uh, I don't want to go to Me, I told you, Father, you, you want to go to bed. Father, no, no, no. At least you were one week here. Ah, uh, that's nice. Uh, you want to go to bed? No, no. All right, I give up then. I'll go to bed. Amanda. 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 Tomorrow you're going. See. Si. What do you do in Johannesburg? Hmm? Your job in Johannesburg? Me. Trabajo. Hmm? Tinting. Tinting, yes, yes. Every month you go tinting? Yes. One week here. Yes, fine. And then one month, Johannesburg. Yeah. Yeah. How much do you make per month? It depends. Um, 3,000. 3,000 rand? 2,005. Or 3. Depends. Uh -huh. Or 2,700. Two, uh -huh. yeah. Every month, I'm working something like here. Uh, you comes through like what? Like uh, this, I knew it. this. This. Yeah, putting last month. The ceiling? Yeah. This here? Yeah, yeah. Everywhere. Huh? Me, me, I, I put it. Uh -huh. Here is too much money. This is not only me. It's not the same like America. It's, it's 4,000 rand everything. Impressivo. Hmm? Impressivo. Yeah, impressivo. Jose, uh, what happened to the boy carrying water? Poor. Ah, you want order? Oh, this one, water, this one. Yeah, I think I scared him. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. That woman, you coming here. 
See? There's a dip, but me and you sniff. Uh, oh, come on. Are you saying she came last night and we were asleep? Yeah. No, 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 no. She did not come last night. Oh, no. Are you coming tonight? Tonight. Como se dice in Portuguese tonight? Tonight. Anoint. Anoint? Yes. Anoint. Yeah. See? Mm. See? Mm. Uh, the double, don't they? Don't they? Eleven? Tonight. It's very late. <laughs> You're right. I probably will be asleep. Tonight, eleven. We're coming in. Eleven? Yeah, no, eight, nine, ocho, nueve. Once? Once. It's Portuguese. Once. Once. How substantive a relationship am I really hoping for when I don't possess language skills enough to agree what time to meet? In the normal course of speaking, we frequently say things like, I will definitely try to be there at 7, but more likely it will be 8 or 9, of which someone who is struggling to understand will hear only, I will be there at 7. This is ridiculous. And to understand why I'm forcing it, you really have to go back about 10 years and a dozen journals to the first time I went overseas when I was 22. I spent an idyllic summer passing a Bulgarian English dictionary back and forth. But doing so is far more satisfying then because as a 22 year old, I didn't have much more to say than what could be done with a subject and verb. But now, I want to use sarcasm, and irony, and metaphor. I want to employ subtlety, and importantly I want to appreciate her subtlety if she's employing it. I spent a lot of time trying to make my language more complicated, and now it takes enormous effort to communicate that I like. Minus my brain, I don't know what I offer. Yeah, no, 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 I'm talking about the, that girl. No, I understand you. See, you see, are see. lucky, but that girl, no, I understand you. See. Yeah, but you, you are like 100%. <laughs> what about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's coming next time. Oh, 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 if, if she does not want no, to come, uh, uh, no, no, no. If she does not want to come, it's okay. What? I, I would like her to come, but it's okay if she does not want to come. Dictionary. I must tidy myself. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah. Okay, but tomorrow, I want to <coughs> this woman. You want to check it. When you stay with a gracious host, you have to be careful telling them what you want because they won't stop until they get it for you. Why didn't I ask for a boat? Obrigado. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's fine. Everything is fine. Uh, it looks fine, everything. Yes, it looks fine. Yes, it is. No, it's good. I had a good time with you guys. Good time. Bon tiempo. Uh, amigos. Raka, playa, <laughs> waiting for the sensia, listening to incredibly loud music, alto, <laughs> dancing, comida, sleeping in bed, two men, one time, bon tempo. What's up, people? It turned out that Licencia was delayed by being punched in the face. Some might argue that that would be sufficient reason to break a date, but I'd been waiting too long to make small talk and I was determined to do it. I told her I came from the Estados Unidos, the land of Lincoln, where I worked as a videotaper. We tackled the classic question, how many brothers and sisters do you have? We wrote our full names and we clapped our ages. I spoke of my love of foosball and that I wanted to find a boat to Madagascar, but feared sharks. Then she said she felt duente, but I thought she said duende, and we consulted the dictionary. Duende is a goblin or elf. Then we cleared that up and agreed that I would escort her to the hospital in the morning. Okay, that's seven. Seven. Finally, I pulled out my ace in the hole and inventoried the contents of my backpack. Although enchanted by my musicianship, she felt comfortable enough with me to interrupt with an unrelated question. Then she took a solo. And things were obviously going well, because that's when it happened. And immediately I picked up on the changed vibe because I'm quite astute about such things. 
Because I'm a gentleman, all I can say is, I did not sleep alone that night. Licencia is coming here mm, it's at coming here. Nova. You take your call. And not to the hospital. No, that's what they're talking to me, not hospital. Por que no hospital? No, hospital because, uh, uh, no, it's fine here. Yeah. No yeah. problem. Si, si, si. Yeah, just you turn for you, no hospital. You talk to me, no hospital, not going to hospital today. Yeah. Just in the sense that you like you, just somewhere around. She wants to see the town. <laughs> She wants me to show her Maputo. Yeah. But every time Licencia says that she will be somewhere, like she said she would come over the night before last, she didn't come. She said she would come last night, and she was two hours late. Granted, she got hit in the face twice. But, and now, this morning, I said I would take her to the hospital at 7, and then she said at Nov. Nov. So now I'm waiting for Nov, but I don't think she's going to come back. She's unreliable. <coughs> unreliable mente. Hmm? Unreliable mente, dad. You're talking about what? <laughs> uh, mal portuguesa. Lisas? No, me. Mal portuguesa. And me, mal English. <laughs> It looks as if Licencia will be here soon, but I don't know. What am I doing? I know that she's attractive and charismatic, but thanks to my poor language skills, there's too much I can't know. Don't we justify the outsized role of physical attraction by saying that it's just a necessary prelude to getting to know one another? So what am I admitting if I know that it's impossible to get to know one another? And if it's only physical, forget about malaria, what about HIV? Of course, that's totally presumptuous. I mean, if it is physical, what exactly is she getting from me? I frankly don't look like she does. When we're together, I'm afraid that what I look like is other white male travelers that I've seen around. I can't presume to know the details of their relationships, I guess, but they put me in mind of the sedan chair, of a long history of people who use their disproportionate wealth to get other people to do something they didn't really want to do. Old colonialism may be dead, but one of its subtler, modern incarnations is sexual tourism. But what does this mean, that there can be no love between backpackers and people they meet? That doesn't seem right either, but the smart thing would probably be to avoid any kind of transaction.
few short notes about the shop we went to after leaving the beach. It's hard to write because the bus is shaking. One, I think the proprietor was selling counterfeit jeans because she was not happy about my videotaping. And two, two. You are laughing. Laughing? Mm. No, no, I'm sad. Hmm? Muy too melancholico. Muy too qué? Muy too qué? No, I shot. Because. Mm. Eh? I don't want you to like me for my jeans. Why? Well. I know, it's complicated. You have any money? See, see. Ah, this woman you're talking about, you no money, go to tax. No, taxi, see. Si. It's fine. Taxi, see. Si. Dinero. Comer, see. Si. And then? Jeans, no. <laughs> I'm not talking about the jeans, that girl. She didn't? Not talking about the jeans. I think she did. You, you're talking about, about the jeans for me, but that girl not talking about the jeans. Uh, she doesn't want me to buy her jeans? You're talking for you, 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 want, you want the jeans? No, no. She wants me to dinero yeah. para jeans. Para jeans? Si. You don't, don't want? <laughs> no, I cannot afford. Okay. Si. I lied. I lied. I can't afford. I could buy 50 jeans. I could start a jean shop. Hey. Well, if I stocked counterfeit jeans. But my ego was hurt. I wanted her to say, I don't care about jeans. I'm so in the thrall of your nerdy, incomprehensible magnetism that jeans mean nothing to me. I wrote earlier that this is what it was like to be handsome, but... Really, this is what it's like to be rich. And rich people do not want to think that wealth is a factor in their success. They want the benefits of wealth, the attention and power that wealth bestows, while believing that really the attention derives from their extraordinary charisma. Okay. It's fine. Uh, leave it, leave it leave the girl. Yeah, leave the girl. Because now, uh, you got uh, too much problems. <laughs> <laughs> see, see, see. A thought experiment. Imagine Phil Collins was backpacking in my working class neighborhood in Los Angeles and said, Hey, I'm just really curious about how you live. I want to know what it's like to rent a room and live on a diet of sandwiches. First of all, I'd like to think that I'd respond with as much hospitality as people have shown me, although I doubt I would. And secondly, for the duration of his stay, how easy would it be to forget what would be within his power if he were in a generous mood? If he paid for his room and some food and a taxi and no more before jetting back to his life of relative luxury, would I think, mm, that's fair, or, my god, what a dick. You understand this girl? I understand this girl, I mean, she... If I saw a big pile of cash walking down the street, I would ask that's why I want, too. That's why I want... Yeah. Yeah. You know, they want change you want change it together, you don't understand it, man. I don't understand. See? I don't understand. Jose was exactly right. It's too much problems. Backpackers fly in and land, only briefly, like a bird, in very complicated places. Vacationing, essentially, in places that people are struggling just to live. And I have to say, I've been willfully naive if I thought that I could carry on a light-hearted romance in that context. And it only took her explicitly saying what was expected of me in return to shock me awake. Because where I come from, we would never dream of basing a relationship on a transaction. Rico, no Rico. Well, relatively. She thinks I'm rich because she's not rich. Because I have my camera. Because I walk around with a camera with a wide-angle lens and a microphone <laughs> on top. <laughs> Rico, Rico. Okay. See, Rico. You, you, you're looking at camera. 
it's, it's too much. You guys, the, you, 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 you want to be the camera, you are rich. <laughs> see, see. Come on, you guys. <laughs> Rico, look, it's obvious. Obvious cement there. That I am rich. What is this? It's us. It's us. It's us? See. Come on, look like that. It's there. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you admit. That's right. What do I need the sense here for? <laughs> I wish that I were as good and selfless as my friend Jose who on the day I left in Yagoya, installed the first plumbing to his family's house. If I were that good, I would have ended the relationship and bought the jeans, asking nothing in return. But my feelings were too hurt, and I couldn't bring myself to do the right thing. So I comforted myself thinking that at least I didn't do the wrong one. And, having said that, on the night we celebrated my departure, I got together with one of Jose's other friends. 